So yes, we are going to have a continuation uh, working with uh, our compressors. It is uh, important that uh, we understand this section of the volumetric efficiency. All right, the volumetric efficiency, as I have uh, stated on this definition, which is uh, clearly given, uh, we are going to consider this as the ratio of the amount of air entering the compressor, which is at the suction entering the compressor. So we are talking about the effective volume in that case versus the amount of air leaving the compressor at the delivery. So in actual sense, if we take this statement with the formula that we are going to have, it might not make that sense, but uh, let us make sense out of it from the formulas. The volumetric efficiency, which we can have in short, depending with the textbook that you can have, uh, some they just use the V as it is, but I'm just going to use volume like V or L. So our volumetric efficiency in words can be given as the volume. All right. So here we're going to work with the volume of free air. If we are working with the free air. All right, so let, let me let me stop this one. Let me stop this one because it's gonna be bring us some confusion. Let us start with the effective volume. So this is effective volume. So we're gonna use the effective volume over the swept volume, which is our stroke volume. So that is over the swept volume. So if we consider this formula, guys, it uh, is a direct. Here we are using the effective volume so entering which means the effective volume must be at the inlet so therefore we can have our volumetric efficiency as the effective volume at the inlet over the swept volume which is our vs so this is one of the formulas that we can get uh, or that we can use remembering the other formulas that we had before as we had our PV diagram. Do not forget that part. From our PV diagram, effective volume, uh, take note. These conversions, I talked about it, guys, where basic units are used. There is no need for you to have uh, the cubic meter, uh, cubic meter per second what? If you have it here, therefore also have it here. So if you just use cubic meters as it is, also this must be cubic meters. So they, I'm not going to talk much about those units. Uh, it depends with the question, how you are given your values and also the conversions later on. But we do understand that our effective volume at inlet is the difference between uh, V1 and V4. We talked about this one. And the swept volume, which is... Uh, in this case, uh, right, if we go back, we go back here, that is our swept volume, V1 minus what? V3, which is the clearance. So we have this one, V1 minus V3, where V3 represents the clearance volume. So meaning to say we can play around these formulas depending with what we are given, what we are given. Are we given the information that can be used on that? But that is the idea of this. So I was talking about the free air, the other part when I was saying volume of free air. That one, it must be when you are working given free air delivered or referring to the free air conditions. All right, so from free air conditions, we can say, all right, so from free air conditions, all right, which is, uh, let us just say delivery, but this is from free air conditions, all right? If we are given that, all right, working with the free air conditions, that's where we've got the free air deliver. In this case, the volumetric efficiency can be determined. The volumetric efficiency can be determined as the volume 
of free air, which is the VA, in this case, representing the volume of air for that free air deliver over what? Over VS, the swept volume. That is the condition that we are going to have. So this is the free air, all right? That is, we're talking about what? Free air deliver, the volume of free air deliver. VA and VS must be in the same units always, all right? Free air deliver. So take note here, let us just take note. Uh, v, A and V, S, the, these volumes, V, E, uh, effective or V, S or V, A, this one must be in the same units. So if you have got cubic meters per second, make, make sure they, all, they are all under cubic meters per second. We are working with the red, use the red. If you are working with the exact cubic meters, use the cubic meters, depending with how the information is given, like I said uh, before. And remember our Vs, we talked about this. This is V1 minus V3. So if we are working with the uh, free air conditions, where you are working with the uh, free air conditions, this is the formula that we are going to work with. On a normal consideration, where we are given a clearance and take note, the volumetric efficiency is used when there is a clearance. When there is a clearance, we are going to be using this part. So um, we just need to be careful on that part, all right? Another formula that we are going to use also as part of our, our formulas, not to say this one is of free air or what, it's just another formula that we can take into consideration. And we also have that one from our formula sheet, which is uh, this one, all right? So I'm gonna explain this which is further extended here. So that is uh, those two, we are done. All right, so let us um, have the first one. So it also follows that the volumetric efficiency can be given as, all right, so this is one minus VC over VS, this one, okay? Is our volumetric compression ratio. Right, so this is into P2, the pressure, P1, which is also the pressure over one, okay, to the exponent of one over N minus one, as we can see. So this is uh, just like a per unit value. So all this part, you must multiply by what? 100% to get what? Uh, the efficiency, so that is the condition. So here, guys, this part here of the VC over VS, it is a ratio, that one that we are given. So where? we can use that in place of that one, we can get rid and use the alpha to represent that ratio, or we can use this one as the C ratio, which uh, represents the volumetric compression ratio. So that's VC over what? Over VS. P2 over P1 is also a ratio, which is for the pressure. So you can replace that one with RP. So that's going to be P2 over P1. So this formula here is the one that we further see adjusted where we see it now in place of this one, they write it as one minus the ratio, which you're going to use alpha there into what? This whole part that we are seeing here is what? Is our pressure ratio. So that's our RP. Uh, to the exponent of one over N minus one. So what they just did on that formula was to expand by this alpha here. So if you expand uh, minus alpha times one, it's gonna give us positive alpha. Minus alpha times our pressure ratio is gonna be minus uh, alpha, minus alpha times the pressure ratio to the exponent of one over N. So this is the other formula that we see on our formula sheet, it, it depends with the way that you are writing or that you want to present your formula, guys. It is in your hands. Formulas are in your hands. You present or you change them to, to the way that you understand. If you want to maintain what is in the formula sheet, uh, because at the end of the day, uh, the formula sheet is there as your assistance. So I, I, I advise you to work with what we have in your formula sheet, this, these ones. So these are the formulas that we have. So like I said, uh, that's our uh, ratio, the volumetric compression ratio. 
and our RRP, the pressure ratio. So if we have got those ones, we can use this formula, we can use this, we can use this depending with what you are given on that particular question. So I want us to use these formulas to, uh, to answer any typical questions. Uh, I have used some of these formulas to answer other questions, only that I did not mention uh, as a separate part to say these are the formulas that can be used. So now that we know, we can now continue with these formulas and also add to whatever that we have on this part. So let us check let us check this question here and see which proper formula that can be used there. The clearance volume of a single stage, single acting reciprocating compressor is we 5,5 of the stroke volume. All right, no problem. So the clearance volume is 5,5%. Uh, so that's 0 0.055 like this uh, of the stroke volume. All right. The compressor takes in air at this temperature and this pressure, all right? No problem. So we've got T127 plus 273, which is 300 Kelvin. Uh, the pressure there is uh, 95 kilopascal. And it delivers it to a receiver at this pressure. That's our P2 at 700 uh, kilopascal. That is what you're given. And the polytropic index of compression is 1,33 or N, 1,33. Then we are given the value of R there, okay, in case that you're going to need it. Then the question was to calculate the volumetric efficiency at intake conditions. The volumetric efficiency. So with this information, which formula can we use to answer the question? Are we going to use the effective volume? Do we have that? Effective volume where we're gonna need V1 minus V4, a lot of things. We do not that we do not have that one. There is no relationship between the effective volume and another part. So it means uh, we can just ignore that. Okay, let us just ignore this one. We, these are not free air conditions. So this one is totally out. We are not working with free air conditions. This one is totally out. So we say this one is out. Let us move to this one. This formula here is showing us that if we have got this Vc over Vs and P2, P1, and this we can find it. But there we are not having it as a complete thing according to the information. So this is how we answer our questions, guys. You see that there is a relationship, all right? This is what you do. You see that there is a relationship between the Vc and the Vs. But here we are not given anyone. We are given a relationship that Vc is equal to this. So it means we can leave the part of Vs as it is. Then in place of the Vc, we write the Vc that we are given this one. So meaning to say, guys, we can say Vc and Vs, they are there. So meaning to say you are going to use this one if you want, because what you just need is to say, okay, alpha is equal to what? Uh, v, Vc over Vs. You take the Vc, that, that decimal that you're given, it's up to you guys if you were to use the ratio, all right? 0, 0.055 of what? Of, v, of Vs. Like this. Over what? Over the Vs, then this one cancels. You remain with this decimal meaning to say you've got your alpha to find your RRP. When I use P2 over P1, you substitute, then you use this formula if you want it. But I'm just going to use this one on top, all right? Since uh, the formula is direct, guys, just substitute this one. You have to find this one on its own, this one on its own, which is fine, okay? I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it is wrong there to do that. So, but you can avoid and just use the formula at once. If you, if, if you can do that, Use the formula at once, this one as it is. So let's take our formula and see. Volumetric efficiency can be calculated as what? From the formula that we are having there, it is stating that we are going to have one minus Vc over Vs into P2 minus, or over P1, sorry, to the exponent of one over N minus one. So this is per unit value to have percentage. All this part must be multiplied by what? 100%. So this is it. We were going to take our values. Uh, now we've got one minus the VC as it is. 
zero comma zero five five vs over what over the vs all right into p2 as we have our pressure 700 over p1 which is 95 so that's 700 over 95 to the exponent of 1 over n where our n is 1.33 so that's 1.33 minus 1 like this so what was going to happen is that the vs and the vs was going to cancel so do not worry about that as long they are same units, guys, they will cancel. So that's it. So let us find our efficiency. Do not forget to multiply by what? 100%, whatever that you're going to have on your answer. So that's how we play around uh, with these questions. You just have to work out as uh, many questions as you can. All right. So from this information, let's see. Just going to have uh, the bracket here. So that's open bracket. Okay, so that's one minus uh, 0, 0.055. We open another bracket and we have to open another bracket. So they are too much. Okay, no problem. 700 over what? Over 95. So that's 700 over 95. We close that one to the exponent of one over uh, 1.33. All right, so that's uh, just move aside this one and uh, you have a minus, so that's minus one. So we must close the bracket, this one and that major bracket that we started with. So there are two brackets there times 100%. So that was going to give us 80, comma eight. All right, so that's uh, 80, comma eight. Uh, zero. Okay, so this was going to change and that would be one. So that's one here and they would put a zero there, just like this. So that's our volumetric efficiency that we are going to have according to this formula. Uh, as we saw, the adjustments could have been made so that we can have a formula like this. That one, it is in your hands. So you use the formula that is suitable in the way that you understand it, but that's how we work around with our volumetric efficiency, which is used on those compressors where we are having what the clearance, the clearance volume is considered. So let us do revise as many questions as we can. Uh, and uh, if there is any part which is not clear, let us communicate on the comment section so that we can see how to attempt those typical questions. So that's it till we meet again.